YouTube, what's up, man? I'm here. I'm just going to play a little game, an idea that I have, you know, that I mean, a lot of some of you guys can't catch the stream, catch when I play live. If you want to do that, the link is below to catch me play live on Twitch. I'm just going to go ahead and play a game. This was a regular Mutt game. I could do this for any different mode, but any mode you guys want to see me play, please comment below. Please hit the like button. I'm just going to play this game and just talk y'all through exactly what's going through my mind. Pretty much every play, every step of the way. That way you guys get a vibe for what I think, how I move. This is just a regular Mutt game. This guy could be a shitter. He could be good. I really don't know. I am all mad in first string. So these guys are pretty decent. They all have an idea what they're doing. My team is not amazing. I have Moss. I have Vic. I have Tyreek Hill, 97 speed. I don't have Madden coaches or Shazy or anything like that. So we're just going to get into this game. I'm playing this guy named Rad Panda Bear. He might be tough. I have no idea. I'm not going to tell you all he's going to be amazing. But I'm just going to talk what goes through my mind and hopefully help you guys get better at the game and just really uh, get a better idea of what goes through my mind and you can incorporate it into your gameplay. So we're just going to start, man. Obviously, when you're kicking the ball off first, that's a huge thing in Madden, man. Definitely is, especially four-minute quarters. This is a season game. I, uh, since they got rid of scum kick, I really don't know how I want to kick the ball. I, I kind of just kick it to one side kind of limit their options on where they want to go and i see most times when i kick it this way the, the biggest thing people can do is run all the way to the right but he goes back up the middle and make a tackle there but so the biggest thing on the first drive is figure out what you want to play i mean i have dollar here i have nickel normal too i'm going to just rock a little nickel normal to start this game off i have sean taylor linebacker i'm going to use him Dion's in the slot pat pete malcolm night train Brian Dawkins, three wide receivers. We're going to run a little nickel blitz. Assuming this might be bunch or something like that. It is bunch. So we're going to send We're going to send six here. We got a quarter over there. Boom. Just got to make a tackle. Good job, Lane. So with that, he sent out everybody there doing the flats. That's fine. You want to throw in the flats. I want to put some, put some better hitters out there on the flats. Let's put Ramsey in the game. Let's put Dion as safety here with, with um put Dion as safety with uh Malcolm Jenkins. Put Pat Pete in the slot. We could do that. Now a lot of people sometimes people are uh, the little trips tight on action. This I like to run something like this look. So I don't get beat up the middle of the field. I gotta worry about inside zone. I gotta guard the flat here and I gotta guard the corner route to the tight end, especially if he motions over. So I guard, the, I guard the flat, take that away. We get some pressure. Now we get to a third down. Third and 14. Let's see what we're doing here. Now he got sacked there, so this might be a time where he might want to fake hike. I'm thinking about going on aggressive right here, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with what I got. He's going to this look a little bit. Uh... Boom, and we get at them. Send six, everybody. Lawrence Taylor, and that's the extra speed. First drive, we get a punt, man. That's great. Anytime you get a drive on the first punt, sent the crib. You got to figure out. So we went to bunch, do the flat the first play. Second play, he went to trips tight end, doing the flat. And the, the third play, he was in some type of four wide, which is, I mean, he showed me three different looks. I showed him pretty much the same look. And now we get the ball close to midfield here on the first drive. I believe I am in the Denver Broncos playbook. So I'm going to be running a lot of um, bunch, a lot of, not bunch tight end, but trips tight end, maybe a little uh, tight, run bunch out of tight, or uh, bench out of tight. But after you get a stop like that, man, that's a big deal. Go down here and get points. I get ball at half. That's an automatic turnover pretty much. See him coming out on some type of dollar. So we got to see where his run defense is in, in dollar right away. You know, you got to see if they're going to be able to stop the run. And right there, I mean, I, I didn't think it was the best run defense. His guys definitely shed. Run a little DB fire too. That means it might be some pressure on me. It might be uh Oh, I definitely have route chem on Mr. Tyreek Hill right here. Go get that Kittle. That time I just high load to the left. I went and looked. The running back was manned up, it looked like, and I was able to hit the uh hit the corner route there because there was no flat zone, was no underneath zone. So now I'm pretty much guaranteed a field goal. I'm in the field goal range, so I can't turn the ball over here. 
Yeah, a nice little run. Like I said, well, during Dollar, you got to see. He, that time he just shot the gap, he just didn't make a play. If they're in the Dollar, man, you got to make sure that these guys show you they can stop the run, man. That's one of the biggest things when you're in Dollar. Make these kids show you that they can stop the run. Here, he's pretty much been in this, uh, or he's been in, God, jeez. See, I have route coming. That's why I always hate route. I'm going to run the ball again. I got to move Tyreek Hill somewhere. He got to play the outside or something. But there's definitely a reason why I always hit. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Tevin. Tevin Coleman fights into the end zone. That's the best thing that could ever happen. A run. Jeez, from like the 15-yard line, get into the end zone. Easy drive. I told you guys, man. They say dollar stops the run, man. But you got to be able to. You got to know how to stop the run. And a lot of these kids don't know how to stop the run. So you got to make them show you that they know how to stop the run, man. So now we're definitely up 7 nothing. Now it's even better. I get ball at half. I'm feeling great. He's going to play with a more sense of urgency. He's not going to be able to run the ball. He's not going to be able to take time. He's going to look for bigger plays down the field just because he's down. That time I played real safe on the kick return, was able to go ahead and corral Dion there. That, that was definitely a big play for me. And was able to go ahead and tackle him. Now, same thing. I'm just going to nickel normal. We're going to go nickel blitz two. Bunch again. We'll see what he does here, man. He might go flats again. I'm cool with him throwing the ball to Ingram. I'm blitzing six again. It's just cover two. That's all we're doing here. Up. Oh, okay, little baby in my, or little baby poster. Might be Pat Sale. That's what it was, Pat Sale. Okay, I'm cool with that. Okay, that looked like a little route come where it was verticals, one or the other. Yeah, verts. Okay. Okay, 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 boys. I ran a little base. That, that not, I didn't get too aggressive there. I just kind of looped back in, allowed my players to kind of, or allowed my, him to run into me more than me to run into him, if that makes any sense to you guys. Oh, so this play, what we got second? Now he's back in this. I'll tell you guys, this is how I like to play this set. I got the right flat. Oh, he angled me. Ah, Ricky Williams dropped it. Good stuff, man. Ricky Williams would truck you all over the place. Definitely. So he has route Kim on his running back, too. This guy is just a savage. I'm going to play a little bit safer here. I'm a man up the tight end. A little bit wild to do on third and long. Might be Pat Sale here. I'm Dion. Oh, come on. What? Ah. Corner strike like that? Is that tough? Jeez, that's my fault. Now you got to be playing inside zone here. We got a hard flat man up the man up the tight end. He's motion over this inside zone all the way. Uh, maybe not a lot. Oh come on, Dion! You can't get beat that bad. He highballed that, overthrew it, went with the speed. That's a good play right there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, what am I gonna do about that? I, I still like that matchup. I don't really care. Good stuff, Dion. And when you man up your safeties like that, if you guys saw me, I manned up my safeties. That allows them to play the run so much better. What a lot of people like to do down here inside the 10-yard line, man up their safeties and really uh, get them to play the run a lot better. Now we got, what do we got here? We got a, a third and goal from the six. Got to play. I'm going to play really uh, passive here. We'll see what he does. I'm assuming he might go base. I'm playing base. I'm playing the tight end or running back streak out of the backfield. And we picked it off. I was just playing. I was playing that curl. We got to take this to Chris. Stop and go on Vic. Um, that's why you have Vic tackle him. I was just playing that curl there, and he do the angle route right to me. So getting a pick there, holding the no points. And pretty much that happened. The no point situation happened on first and second down. I'm the third and six. It's hard to really pass anything on third and six. So it definitely worked out well for me there. I'm just going to put a streak down the middle of the field, see what I can get. Oh, I got sacked right there. Golly. Good defense. I think he put his... Right safety in a in a hat in a in a third down the middle of the field, and that's what I do a lot. 
So we're going to try to make them pay for that by putting this guy right here on a fade. I got it if I had the time. I went underneath to Moss. Stop and go. Bye-bye, Mr. Moss. Oh, he came back and got me. I did have to fade for a touchdown to Kittle, but I just wasn't sure and confident in it. So now we got a first down. Now we're in field goal range already. We get the ball to half. Feeling really good. Cannot turn the ball over here, man. We're going to keep it real basic. Really basic, actually. What are we going to do here? Because of that, we're going to um, just run the ball a couple times. I'm cool with a field goal here. If he doesn't get the ball back, we'll see what happens. But to go up two scores early and get the ball at half is a big deal for sure. Uh, he blew up the run there. That was the first time he showed he was going to blow up the run. Uh, me personally, I, I wouldn't even mind running again here because I can take this to the two-minute warning if I run again. But because he blew up the run there, I'm going to go ahead and motion um, Tyreek Hill in here. Hopefully pick up his user. If I can pick up his user, I can get a big play. That's pretty much how the run's been. How inside zone's been versus dollar. If I can pick up the user, I can get a big play. And we did pick up the user, but that guy on the edge came free. So now we're going to go to two-minute warning. If he doesn't use his timeouts, we're going to go to two-minute warning. I'm going to have to pick up a dot here, though, because I wasted two plays running, which isn't great. And one thing I hate about running, man, we ran twice, lost four yards. So right now, I pretty much have, this is what I like to call third and field goal. There's really no dot that's going to be open here. And a lot of times, if you force, force yourself trying to get this, you'll turn the ball over. And turn the ball over is just going to negate everything we did positive to get down here. Everything we did positive to get the possession back by catching that pick. So pretty much to me right here, we're getting ball at half. The most conservative thing you can do is run the ball. Because if I run the ball, what's going to happen is he's going to call his timeout. More than likely. Or he's going to let time come off the clock. So I'm just going to go ahead and run. We'll see what he does right here. He calls timeout. Okay, so now that took a timeout away. And I do that, I play that really conservative because I feel like, one, I'm playing good defense. I feel okay on defense. This guy is not going to keep popping me. I'm at such an advantage in this game right now because of the possessions, because of the time of the game, and because I get the ball to have. I'm in a huge advantage. He right now, I'm going to hold this right now, because he right now is going to have to stress his mind out to get some points because he knows if he doesn't score in this possession, the game is over. There's no way he's going to win this game. So he's playing, I mean, his back's up against the wall to drive. And it's easy to play defense when you have somebody with their back up against the wall. So there we go. Good kick coverage inside the 25. The champ Bailey on the kick coverage. So let's just keep going, man. I'm going to flick it on aggressive right here. He hasn't fake hiked me. It's a time where he's going to be rushing, so I don't know if he'll, he'll remember the fake hike. Uh, good job. He had, he had a little bit of time. Strip. Good job. Okay. Good job. All right. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put on auto flip so my DB is always on the side of the... Uh... Always on the side of the um, nickel of the three wide receivers, so I have that extra DB over there. Once again, I'm, I got the right side here, man. If he doesn't put anybody out here... Ah, I got to play that more aggressive, but that's cool. Tackle him in bounds, hold him, let some time run off the clock. Ah, I got to get that strip there. Come on, boys. All right, another little baby die he do. Gotta try to get some pressure here, man. I still got this right side, Ricky Williams. Come on, boys. We gotta get to the quarterback, man. What's going on? I uh, got out again. I covered the right side. We were good, man. I feel like I'm playing good defense right now. I don't want to take a chance. I kind of want to. I kind of want to man up my safety, but I don't want to take that chance. I'm cool with my defense right here. I'm going to lurk the slot streak, though. Oh, you put him on a curl. Uh, there we go. Come on, boys. We got to get to the quarterback. What's going on? That was my lurk, the slot streak. There. I don't know what he did that was so wild right there, but...
I'm going to cross man that guy. I'm thinking corner strike again is going to be his call. God, he caught me on aggressive. Good stuff, Dan. That's automatic field goal range for him. Uh, he's in field goal range now. I can't give up the touchdown. Now I'm going to play a lot, a lot safer, really. I got the middle of the field if it's a streak, really. Good job. That's okay. Time, time is on my side. I'm cool with him doing the little baby, little baby ass zigzag routes right now in this point of the game. I put. Oh, Get him! There we go, Pat. Now he's definitely in field goal. 31 seconds. He has nothing to do right here, but throw me a pick. I mean, all day out here, boys. Just no. Oh my God, did we really just get? Uh, he's gonna pick a field goal. Oh, he's gonna no huddle. Okay. Oh, Amos dropped it. He went for it. I blitzed everybody, covered that guy. He was doing it anyway, and we dropped the pick. Take your three and be proud of yourself, kid. Jeez, I knew exactly what play he was going to go to. I left the flat on the right. I knew I, I didn't have to cover a running back because at the time, I knew I had to cover the tight end. It was all over him. He threw it, got hit, popped up. Should have been a pick. Potentially a pick six with Amos right there. Vic got hit. Vic would have been on the ground. That's a huge play to keep it a one-score game. Um, Five seconds left. I'm going to return this and just hope to get something fl fluky. And we got cracked with Dion. One second left. I see so many people just go into half, man. I really do. I see so many people just go ahead and concede. Listen, I've been around I'm 31 years old. I've been a lot of, around a lot of Madden boys, and I'll tell you this, man. Let the game cheat, cheat your opponent. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Let it, let the game cheat your opponent, cause it will cheat them. Let it cheat them. Let it cheat them. Oh, just give yourself a chance for the fluke. That's all, man. If you won't give yourself a chance for the fluke. You're never going to get it. So that's why I, I see a lot of people run the clock out. At least run the ball there. And at least try to get a fluky run or something, man. I always chuck the ball. Try for something, man. You never know. You know, that's, some, that's something I see a lot of people do. Just concede concede the half. Nah, I'm chucking. Not, not that you'll ever get something crazy out of it, you know. But it's definitely, I, I feel like it's definitely worth it from time to time to to chuck the ball. We're going to go max protect here. Uh, we got bagged a little bit. I'm going to throw the ball away. Definitely got bagged right there, man. That was rough. He didn't blitz as much as I thought. Should have given myself somewhere else to go with the ball. Let's see what he does here. Dun, dun, dun. Eagle, eagle. Up, up. Toes. I really feel like I have Kittle for a touchdown. I really do. I'm not as comfortable with this play as some people, but he's deep quarter in his outside corner, and he's putting his, his strong safety in a middle zone. I feel like I can definitely hit this for a touchdown. I want to try it. I really do. There it is. Oh, he dropped it. Come on, man. Ah, oh, Lord. Can't have that drop from Kittles. Let's see. You got got to make people pay for trying that type of stuff. Obviously, it's a big deal to try that, but... I like this right here. I like this. Oh, I got boxed. Ah, oh, man. See, I hate route specialists because I just want to put Tyreek Hill on a little baby in route. And they keep and because I have deep route come on him. Mostly for squads. They keep making me just... Let's see what we got here, man. I got it again if you give it to me. 
Oh, man. We just got killed by Clowny. Jeez. Fourth and 16. I'm going to punt the ball here, man. Jeez, that drop by Kittle was huge. Uh, he, does, he doesn't have a uh, receiver back. I'm trying to cough and corner him right here, man. A good punt here is huge. And we get a great punt. Give me a bounce. Give me a bounce. Great punt. Those are the things they don't teach, man. It's okay to punt the ball if you want to punt that good. Now, this is where he's going to, if he's running bunch, oh, he's going to go in the flat so bad right here, man. I got the tight end. I have the tight end. I have the tight end. I have the tight end. What the? F oh, no. Amos. Bro, Amos might have to take a seat. Amos really might have to take a seat. Let's see what he's going with this. I'm, I still got the flat over here, man. Dion. Oh, don't give me an overthrow. Give me a pick on that. Jeez. There we go. Eat. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Ah, uh, I feel like you got a punt. Maybe not. We'll see what he does. If I and the one time I tell y'all, man, he's gonna go for it. I'm gonna bring the dogs at him. Got him. Let's go. When you bring the dogs, they make mistakes to the crib, Amos. About time you made up for one, man. Typical bunch verticals, man. You pretty much just got to pick. When you set in the crib, you know the one thing about that play, man. They got to make a read right away. And if you just if you just take one step to the middle and leave it look like the running back's open, man, they run with the running back every time. Every time. Nice go, man. That's why we send the dogs on fourth down, man. If I if I get you to any fourth down in my entire life, man, dude, listen, you're gonna have to make a decision fast. And that time he made the wrong one. If you if you chose to go to the tight end, he would have had a first down and maybe more because I blitzed the whole side. But I just a little lurk to the middle. When you're playing against bunch, man, you always have to be ready for that that verticals play with the tight end on the wheel and the running back out of the backfield, man. So now getting a pick six right there was huge. We can go ahead and keep uh. Keep pounding away right now, really. Oh, you know, run the ball, huh? You that scared of me, huh? Yeah, run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball is fine. I would love to get hit this possession for him to last of the fourth quarter. Would be huge for me. Oh, can somebody get some pressure to play? They had all day right there. All day. Got a hard flat over there. The tight end is mine. The tight end is mine. All day again. Come on, boys. Somebody fight for me. I need somebody to pick that off at the butt. So, once again, I had to guard that crossing route. I wasn't going to leave it because at the end of the day, when you're in a situation like that, you really can't cover either of them. And if you come off that crossing route, you're going to give up a touchdown. If he would have caught that post, which he probably should have, he would have only got inside of 10-yard line, you know? All right, he already went to this set once so far today. Oh, that's Sean Taylor. You got to kill him. That's okay. I'm cool. That was the worst of my evils right there. Yeah, just being playing safe right here. That's all. Oh, hell no. Get him to a fourth down. He kind of got to go for this. Tight spot. He definitely kind of got to go for this. And what I said, when you get to a fourth down, we're going to bring the dogs, man.
Bring the dogs. Game over. GG's. He's going to quit. Get them out of here. And that's what it's about, man. You get the fourth down, boys. You bring the dogs. You don't mess around. You don't give them time to run around with Vic, to find somebody open, anything. You make them make a decision fast. You saw I had the running back. I jumped out there, covered the running back. That game's all about defense, man. You saw his first drive, he got inside the 10. He threw a pick. Then we go ahead and put some pressure on him. Every time you get the fourth down, man, I, I believe you got to put the pressure on somebody. Send six or seven. And I'll tell you, man, if you want any of the offense or the defense that I ran here, make sure you check out the link below for Madden Turf. I'm going to put out a new offensive ebook and a new defensive ebook. And we also got something special in the works for y'all. So make sure you get that premium membership, man. You want to get everything included. Also included is everything I already did this entire year. So that premium membership is definitely the move if you don't already have it. Please hit the like button. Please sub. Let me know what mode y'all want me to play, what y'all want to see. If there's something you want to see in the future, really appreciate y'all, man. Nerd!